Do you find your children look up to or want to be like non-Muslims and look down on Muslims and their Muslim identity? Feeling shy about it? Or are they proud of it? One of the most devastating impacts of Islamophobia and oppression of Muslims all over the world has been the victimhood developing in the hearts of our next generation of Muslims all around the world. When they watch us watching people suffering all over the world and watch us just watching helplessly, thinking, oh, I wish a hero would come and save them. A leader should do something about it. Maybe we go to a protest once in a while, give some charity and come back again and sigh about it. When they watch us suffering, they begin to look down on the Muslims. They are just victims all around the world. And they take on that attitude even in their life. Instead of taking responsibility, waiting for the hero, mom or dad are the heroes often coming to save them. We we'll have to come and save them, solve all their problems. Instead of taking responsibility, making excuses, blaming others, not taking initiative because they just don't think I'm capable. They believe they're less than what Allah created them to be. Their self-esteem sinks. Their aspiration sinks. They become weak. Like a weak tree who's easily shaken. Do you want to raise a child who's easily shaken? Or one who can stand strong and tall? One who's easily influenced? Or one who is a powerful source of influence to others? A hero in this world or a victim in this world. Prophet Muhammad said that there will come a time that your numbers will be numerous, but you will be like scum on earth. Are you going to raise a child who's responsible, takes initiative, has a can do attitude, who values himself, who's a rare gem? Or one who's like that scum? Are you going to raise one who's like that scum? Weak. Most are going to be like that, unfortunately, today. You don't have to be. And one thing I can absolutely guarantee you, and I do not want you to ever doubt this statement, that what Allah has blessed you with is that rare gem. That is who your child is. That's who they are created as. That's their design. Right now, it is in your power, in your influence to polish that gem. Let it shine. It won't be for too long. They're growing up fast. Faster and faster every day. Being more and more influenced every day. Right now it's in your power. So you have a decision to make. Are you going to raise one. Who has that hero mindset. Who can make an impact in this world. Who stands as a pillar of strength. For them, himself, herself and others. A light for this ummah. Because absolutely your child has that potential. Allah has created all of us with that potential. It's the best of his creation. Or do you want to spend them, let them spend their life thinking, I'm worthless, I'm not much, I'm this, I'm that. Having low aspiration, never reaching out for more. Always thinking, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can win this. I don't think I can become that. Rising Heroes is that experience that has already transformed hundreds of children. So many of them today are head boys and head girls in their school. How? Because they learned that hero mindset. They lived it. They saw it in themselves. It wasn't me telling them that. They experienced it. It's an experience. It's a new way for them to 
feel that hero in themselves, awaken that hero in themselves. Of course, our children need knowledge of the deen. But just giving them that in that traditional way is not going to cut it anymore. Not in 21st century. They need this experience to break through that victim mindset and let that hero inside them get, wake up that hero inside them. And that's what happened to these kids who became, whose aspirations rose as a result of that. When they realized I can do so much more. I am so much more. I am able that they became head boys and head girls in their schools. This is not a coincidence. I've never seen anything like that. It amazes me all the time. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. While it's happening. And today, you don't have to sit like, unfortunately, many will. Sit in their homes today, worrying, stressing about the future of their children. about the environment, about the state of the world, you don't have to. Because you, alhamdulillah, has discovered this incredible opportunity, this incredible experience. Alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed you with it. So make sure you take action. No excuses, no blaming. You're gonna have to be a hero today. Make that investment for your children. If you wanna raise that hero, that they are and the fruits of that you're going to reap for eternity absolutely you will and if you don't take action then the pain of that will eat you no doubt about it that's all i've seen that pain in too many mother's eyes so i know so take action and give your children that opportunity to learn to be a great eater This is not an experience you can deny your children. So make sure you take action. There's only a limited number of kids I'm going to take. And I look forward to spending two incredible months with you and your children. We also have mother's group meeting. This time as a bonus for mom. So we also go on a journey together. And you're going to have an incredible journey together. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.